I want to thank you for joining me again as we continue on with our series um, from other to one another um, our daily devotional series that accompanying our Sunday morning sermon series um, I want to thank you for joining us for that um, as we um, explore the richness of our relationships with one another If most of us were honest, the biggest struggle that we have with sin, the place that is most painful for us, the hardest place to surrender to God and be show our allegiance to Him is in the place of pride. And that comes with accepting him as king. That if he is king, then I am not. But that's also where we might struggle the most in our relationships with one another. Because still, we want to be in charge. We want to have the power we want to have the influence we don't want someone else getting the glory getting the honor getting the exaltation we really want to reserve that for ourselves can you think of how pride has affected you how it has infiltrated your life and your relationship with others. How you have chosen to adopt and accept and advance your own power at the expense of someone else. It's that kind of thing that Peter is talking about in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5, where he says, Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility towards one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. God opposes the proud. Why? Because God's the king, and God will not stand for anyone else sitting on his throne. There is only room for one upon the throne. And that reveals itself not just in my relationship with God and my willingness to be obedient to him, but also in my relationships with others. Am I willing to surrender to them? Am I willing to put my pride aside for the sake of someone else and what's best for them? Or am I stubbornly going to hold on to my value even if it means stepping on someone else? Pride. In the movie, The King and I, there is a scene where the king is trying to teach his the new teacher of his children her place in the kingdom. The rule in Siam at the time is that no one will ever be in a position where their head is higher than the head of the king. And she is standing, and he is sitting, and he instructs her of that, and she gets down to a position that's lower than him. And then he gets into a position where, again, she must adjust her body to get lower than he. And they continue to do that until 
she cannot get any lower because she's lying on the floor. Jesus, in Philippians chapter 2, is described in that kind of way. And Paul tells us that we ought to be like Jesus in that he humbled himself and became a servant, a human human likeness, and served us to the point of death. There wasn't any place, anything else, that he could surrender. He had gone to the lowest position in humility to serve us.